Yo, what's going on snipers and welcome back to our snipe phone Scorpio Pro here in NHL 21. So in last episode we had our last two games of the regular season and we won one and lost the other as we normally do so we kind of were back and forth a bit. But we did finish the season with 101 points so we did pass that uh, challenge that we had to hit 100 uh, points on the year. And now we're up against the Toronto Maple Leafs in the first round of the playoffs. Um, so we're going to be doing four games in this episode just because that way if for some reason we sweep or we get swept it uh, would the entire uh, playoffs would be done in one episode. I'd like to also do an episode after the playoffs so like after we lose or we win not this round necessarily but if we were to win the Stanley Cup there would be still like an episode probably afterwards which would be like the awards and the wrap up the end as well. Um, but, um, yeah, basically this is the only season we're going to be doing of this beer pro series. So there won't be another series, uh, or season after this one, uh, because we're going to be reverting to two franchise modes instead of just having like a beer pro and a franchise mode. So, but anyways, uh, let's take a look at what a roster looks like going into the playoffs. I'm pretty sure we do still have some injury problems, but we do have the best top line in the NHL probably other than Crosby and Malkin in Pittsburgh. Uh, so we got uh, Panarin, Zibanejad, and us. Uh, Panarin had a 45 goal season, which was tied for the league leader. Which our league leader was um, Austin Matthews. He also had 45. So, and also Panarin missed a lot of times, but he was almost scoring a goal a game. He had a really good season. Zibanejad as well had a pretty good season as well with 85 points. And then us, of course, we had the 101 points. And then our second line was actually pretty good as well. Since Hurdle came over from the uh, San Jose Sharks, he had like 21 points in 20 games. Uh, he's with Kako and Kreider. Third line, we got McGinn, Heedle, and Chason. And fourth line wise, we got Josh Anderson, Grigorenko, and Blake Como. Defensively, uh, we got D'Angelo and Truba, CeCe and Hutton, and Bluger and VC are playing defense, which is kind of questionable because we do have injuries to def defensemen at the moment. We have Shesterkin and Georgiev in net. But as you can see, we're missing Fox and Giordano at the moment. And uh, yes, for Foss is scratched. So I don't like that we're playing forwards as defense, but uh, hopefully we could still win against the Toronto Maple Leafs. So let's waste no time and get into the first game of the playoffs. We do have a conversation first. Oh, it's a little press conference type of thing. Nice. It's a lot different. So, Snipe on Scorer, you had a great rookie year and you're about to make your debut in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Thanks, this is a big moment in my career and I'm proud to be able to share it with the boys. Yeah, definitely is. How are you approaching the first game against Toronto? Knowing my team well, probably open with some strong offensive pressure and get that all important opening goal. Yeah, I'd say something like that. Okay. So yeah, we're going to try and get four games done in this episode just so we can try and get to most of the first round down in one episode. Depends if this team actually could win games because if we go to a game seven situation then we'll probably have like two episodes per round. So anyways, let's get into this first game on home ice. We got to use this home ice to our advantage here in the postseason. And yeah, we'll just use the normal Rangers jerseys. So going into this big game, any sort of advice to get your mind right for this one, Razor? Well, no, actually, there's there's nothing that's perfect. There's nothing that really fits in a in a in a box that you can say this works for everybody. But the key is to try not to overthink it. No matter what you do, it's still a stick and a puck in the game you know. That was an interesting little cutscene before the game. I don't know if I turned up the audio a lot on that because or else you might hear my computer buzzing away, which would not sound good. So. But let's see if we can get a win here. I like the the crowd seems to be uh, giving us a little bit of a boost right now. Oh, already we're getting a fight. Well, that's a way to set a tone. Janssen gets uh, decked and Zibanejad's already fighting Muzzin. That's going to set the tone for the series for sure. This fight like early into game one. A lot of guys aren't going to like each other after this. Come on, Zibi, you got this, man. He uh, had like over 100 penalty minutes this season, which was kind of funny, but it's because he fought a lot of players. We're tied up with Austin Matthews, and it looks like right now, and Muzzin takes down Zibanejad. Not good. Hmm. But I wonder if Janssen got injured on that play. I don't think so. 
Because you got right back up afterwards. Oh, there's actually a Stanley Cup playoffs like uh, graphic thing. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. At least. Go, go, Hurdle. Yes, Thomas. Let's go. Beautiful shot from Hurdle. Great trade acquisition by the GM. And Hurdle opens the scoring for us in the playoffs. With Zabanj out in the box. I didn't even get a point on that, but I don't even care. Nice little shot. Frederick Anderson's got to have that, but he doesn't. And Hurdle opens the scoring on a nice snapshot. Bang. Oh, Fox is back, I guess. So Fox must have returned. I don't know if Giordano returned. And we got to continue the pressure according to the coach. We'll do that. Oh, there's our first ever shot in the playoffs. Oh, that was a good another chance. Sim engine though seems like it's going to give a goal and it gives it to the Leafs. Yikes, that's not good. If the Sim engine works in the other team's favor, we're going to lose the playoffs easily. We haven't had any sustained zone pressure. Nice getting in with it. Oh, that was a badly aimed shot. I tried to go to the backhand, but threw it on net anyways. And the Sim engine gives them another goal. Oh, no. This is maybe a series that might go longer, though, than uh, four games, though. So. so Mitch Murder gave them the lead. We're down 2-1 after one. We're out shooting, though, 13-7, but it's not been a good start for uh, Shesterkin in the playoffs. Oh, come on. That was a good opportunity. Got that back. Shoot it again. Oh, we're getting a lot of shots this game. Come on, boys. Oh. Yeah, our team has been playing outplaying the Leafs. It's just they're lucky to be ahead right now. Probably because they're goaltending now. Seems like, oh my goodness, this damn Sim Engine is giving them three goals. This is literally like the Penguins game we had at the end of last episode. Come on, Vox. Nice pass. I got knocked down, but I still got it up, and then I got to go off. My guy's slow to get up. It's not good. Sim to our next shift, if we even have one this period. Yeah, it's another goal. Oh my goodness. What is happening to this team? We're choking in this first game. 4-1. to one. We scored so early on, and then this team is just falling apart. Come on, Sim Engine, please work for us for a change. It seems like it's allowed it. Oh my goodness. You guys are really seeing this right now. We're losing 5-1 to one because of the Sim Engine giving them 5 unanswered goals. This is not good. Hopefully we can play uh, much better next game. Nice. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Freddy gets across. And that might be it for us in this uh, first game of the series. And oh my goodness, the Sim Engine gives them another goal. We're down 6-1. to one. Like, I need my offense to be better for next game. Because even though I had a lot of shots, I still didn't uh, pick up any. Oh, there's a point. Never mind. There's a little thing to go into next game and hopefully give us some momentum as the bandage ad scores. Set him up on the back door. As we were supposed to go off, but I decided to keep playing. That was a nice goal. So we're going to lose game one by a score of 6-2. Not good. Hopefully we can bounce back in the next game. My god. That sim engine screwed us over a lot. What does the coach got to say? Oh, I guess he liked uh, our work in this game. So he must have passed his challenge or neutral. But yeah, we got to bounce back next game because we had home ice advantage. But now if we lose our next game, we're kind of screwed over. Let's see what lines were out there for the goals. So me and Panarin were plus two. Zabanja was a plus one. But Fox, Kako, Kreider, Hutton, all minus three. And Hurdle, Chase on, Heedle, McGinn, all minus two. Pretty much everybody on the team was minus. Except for the top line. And then Bluger and CC were even. Which is kind of surprising. But yeah, not a good performance from Igor. Not a good performance at all. Hopefully he bounces back in the next game because like I, I think I said in last episode actually he has some games where he's really good but in other games he's really bad so he needs to bounce back as well. According to James though he thought we were good out there so B minus offense, B minus defense, B on team play and B minus overall wise. 
I think it was a good first game for us. Just the team did not do enough. And the submission screwed us over. Okay, let's get to game number two. See if we have any other cutscenes. No, we don't. Let's tie up the series, guys. Here we go, game number two. Let's win this one, tie up the series. We had an early goal last game. Let's see if we can get another early goal again. Nice kick over to Zabanage. Oh. Oh my goodness. We got an assist throw already. That's a good way to set the tone. That was a beautiful goal. Wow. Okay, two assists in our first two playoff games so far. But oh, what a setup. That was beautiful. I kicked it because I got pinned against the board. I kicked it over to Zabanage and then he finds Panarin all alone. Bang. We picked up right where we left off at the end of last game. Nice little kick see here and the scrum with Matthews. Then Zabanajad takes it. And then both defensemen are on this side, I think, for Toronto. No, that's one defenseman on this side. But the other defense, oh, Marner got cut off. Or Riley jumped up for no reason. But then Perrin's alone and bang. That was a great start. Monson Simenjin, don't give them anything. And it gives them a goal. Jeez, the Simenjin's given them seven goals in the last, like, four periods. Not even. Let's go. Use that speed to get in. Get a shot on Anderson. Might as well get a face off in their zone. What does the coach want? Some more momentum. Yep, up the pressure. Okay, this sounds good. Good clogging the neutral zone, guys. Or the. Right there. Good. Oh. That was a good opportunity. Still 1 1 with 7 12 left in this first. Yes, the bandage ad scores, okay. No points on that for me, but our top line has been buzzing. We're the main uh, source of offense for our team. As the bandage gets his second in the postseason. Nice drop back pass from Panarin. Bang. Okay, let's get up. Go. Come on, D'Angelo. Skate in. Hey, there's a rebound. Bang. Our first ever playoff goal. That's a bang. <laughs> Damn, our team is picking it up now. This is the real Rangers club that needs to win. Good play by D'Angelo to throw that shot to the net and a good rebound out by Frederick Anderson right onto our stick. Yeah, I think D'Angelo purposely shot it low so he could try and get a rebound for me. Because, like, see, he walks in and he throws it low and then the rebound goes right to me. Bang. That was a nice one. It would have been nice if that was an overtime considering I dived afterwards, but like, yeah, that was a purposely low shot by D'Angelo. And a big juicy rebound, though, by Frederick Anderson. Right onto our stick and bang. Let's maybe get that as our screenshot for this first round, I don't know. Nice pass. Drop that back. Oh, our team's looking for more. But hopefully his advantage added is only, like, shift by shift injured. Because we can't go without uh, having to bandage Ed. Well, I think we did at one point in the season, but still. So that's after one period, three to one for us. And Zabanage Ed's back out there, which is good, so he's not injured. Yikes. Oh, no. Jake Muzzin makes it 3 2. Igor seems to be struggling a lot this playoffs. Nice pass. There you go, Zibby. Yes. Let's go. We got belted. Lost our helmet, but we still make a pass over. We got three points on the night. Zabanajad gets his second goal of the night and his third of the playoffs. And we're celebrating without a helmet because we got decked. Lost our helmet. We didn't have enough time to go off, but that was a weird looking shot afterwards. As that puck went right back out of the net. Let's take a look at that quickly, though, just because of that like, glitch kind of thing. But as yeah, see, we lost our helmet there. As the bandages snipes this off, but look at this shot though. It goes upstairs, goes through the back of the net, and out here. Hmm. And the sim engine is going to give somebody a goal, and it gives it to Toronto though. 4 3. Yeah, Igor is struggling. Nine goals against in two games. 342 left. Good. And we're up by one goal going into the third. Okay, we gotta lock this one down, get some insurance, because it's still a tight game. We're out shooting them 18 16. Face offs are close as well. Hmm. Okay, let's get into this third and final period of game two. 
Nice save. No. Oh, yikes. Toronto's starting to get momentum. I don't like it. Oh, yep. See, I told you. You get to always sense when a goal is going to happen against. Oh, they tied the game up. And this team is not doing good defensively in the playoffs. Coach wants momentum. I'll try my best. Hopefully we don't have a game that goes to like double OT or something. Sim to our next shift. Looks like somebody has scored. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Game. We have another power play and we're down 5-4 to four now. Almost went off sides there. Oh. That's centered by default. Nice pass. Got to do it all myself sometimes. Almost. Ah. Oh, that was a good chance. Oh, I didn't want to throw that pass there. Oh. That was like almost a double deflection. Not good. No, we haven't tied the game up yet. Here you go. D'Angelo walks right in. He can't score. Nice bank up, Fox. Let's go. Another break away. Oh my goodness. I'm getting so many chances in this game. Nice. Throw that back to the point. Oh, I just hit the post. What is that? I just got injured. What is this? Oh my god. That should be an interference penalty. What is this? Oh, this is not good. We literally almost tied the game up. This is game two of the playoffs. I threw a shot through this crowd of people. And it hit square off the bar. And this puck is nowhere even close to them. And then Martin who comes over and hits me. This is an interference penalty. Where's like He's not even near the puck. And then he injures me. Like, this should not be really an injury either, but maybe it's my foot, but still, like, like, that was nowhere near the puck, and this guy doesn't even get a penalty for it. And we're not probably going to be returning from that, right? Oh, that's not good. We're going to quit this game. Can this, uh, can this team tie this, uh, can this team tie this game up and win an OT? I doubt it. I feel like we're going to be down 0-2 going to Toronto, which is not good. Nope. We lose that game, yep. Uh, just because of that injury. I almost tied the game up right there. Screw you, Martin Oka. Did we lose 5-4? Yeah, so it was only the one goal still. We came that close to tying it up, and we're down 0-2, headed back to Toronto. We do got a conversation with the reporter. I wonder if this is supposed to happen. <laughs> Isn't that fun score? You're down in the series. How do you plan to turn this around? Just give the team answer. What's the game plan going forward? We need to take care of one game at a time. Yeah, we got to win one game. And then we could come back potentially. If we lose another game, that would not be good. But we have four points in two playoff games, but our team has just been struggling. To keep that puck out of the net. Okay, let's get into this third game of the series against Toronto. See if we could uh, get this uh, series back to even. We're going to still do two more games in this episode just because I like to try and do four games to start a playoff round. So let's see if we could uh, get the series tied back up. We need to win one game though first, and then maybe we can win two. Okay, and we're starting as this number one center. Is advantage out with an injury too? I think Zibanej adds out with an injury. It feels like it's almost scripted for this to happen, but who knows. Oh, that was a nice looking shot. There you go, setting up Panarin again for another early goal, but does that mean we're going to lose? Probably does. Five points in the playoffs now in three games. We're doing it all for this team right now, but we still aren't able to win games. Let's get in with a good shot. Frederick Anderson hasn't been that good either for them, but Igor's just not been good for us. Hopefully we could just keep that sim engine from letting them score any goals, but does the coach want some momentum? Sure. Sounds good, coach. We'll try and get this uh, to be in a 2-0 lead. But I don't like Jordan Martinuk for hitting me last game. Because that was way away from the puck. And the sim engine gives him another goal, and it's Martinuk. My god. I don't know what's happening with this series right now. 
Like we might be going down 0-3. Oh. No. That was loose in the slot and I almost had that chance to knock in that rebound. No, that's not where I wanted to throw that pass, game. Thank you, Eeyore. Oh, but why is the Banjet out, man? Hopefully he's not out too long term because if he is, it's going to be a pain in the ass in the playoffs because he had like three goals. Oh, that was a good opportunity. Win that back, nice. Oh. No, Martin Oak right out of the box. Good save. Nice steal, Thomas. Come on, Thomas. Nice pass. Oh, that was a good shot. So that's probably going to be it for the second period. Yep, 1-1 one, one still. Uh, much better defensive game so far, but our team is playing with fire right now because if we lose this game, we're going to be down 0-3. i got to play defense for you. Oh, big save. Nice play, Fox. Here you go. Oh, I didn't want to throw that pass there. I want to throw it across. Nice pass. There you go, Kako. Drop it in if you want to. Good try, Pinair. And oh, come on. Okay, it gives us a power play with 39 seconds left. This is crucial, or else we might be going to overtime in game three. Looks like we're going to be going to OT potentially. Oh, the shot got blocked. That guy just blocked it with the face, but we're going to overtime in game three. So I might uh, not do four games in this episode, depending on how long this goes. <laughs> Go, 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 go. Oh, good try, Pinner. Nice play, Hurdle. Oh, that was a good opportunity. Another good shot to the net. And our power play is pretty much over. Here we go. Oh, come on. Drop that back. Oh, my goodness. We're getting so many chances in overtime. Oh, are you kidding me? What a steal back and oh. That was a good chance. Let's him to our next shift if there is one. Hey, we got the OT winner. I don't know who scored it, but we managed to win a game in Toronto. That's huge. You know, it's a 2-1 series now. Much better game from Igor that game. Sucks that we weren't able to actually see it happen, but I don't know who scored it, but we get the win. That is huge. Huge win on the road. Let's see if we can win in game four as well. Even though this episode will probably be pretty long. Who got that OT winner? Ben Hutton got the OT winner. Okay. Nice. One assist in that game for us. Five points in the playoffs. B on offense. B minus defense. B plus team play. B overall wise. We had nine shots on goal. And neutral challenge. Okay. So five points in three games is a bandage I can be back for this game because I do not want him to miss a lot of games. Yes, he is. He's partially injured, but hopefully he can stay healthy for this entire game. Okay, let's see if we can tie up the series and then that will be it for this episode after this game. Nice. Big early hit on Riley. Nice hit on Riley again. Good. Oh, almost set up as a bandage. It'd be nice to set him up in his first game back after that. Nice. Oh, I couldn't get that pass across. My guy's slow to get up. I gotta go off on a change. My guy has no energy. And tie up. Nobody helps me out. But we get the puck back and I just missed the net. Oh. And we get it back again and oh. Nice. We're doing much better on the draws, I think. Big hit on Engvall. I gotta just get my team momentum by throwing hits. <laughs> oh, there's a good move. Oh, come on. Why aren't you jumping in there? Throw it on the screen. Oh. And some engine's gonna give somebody a goal, and it is going to be multiple goals, and it's one to each of us. Okay, and we're back on the power play again. Oh, good try, Griggs. Oh, he tried to bank it off the back of the net, and it goes to the front of the net. Damn, I wish I would have been able to swat that out of the air or something. Okay, let's go, Panarin. There we go. And we lost our helmet again. 
There's our sixth point of the playoffs already. Setting up Zibanejad for his fourth goal in his first goal in his first game back. Yep, I'm celebrating without my helmet because I lost it in that hit. <laughs> uh, I got belted again though. Glad I didn't get injured on that. See, I just go flying into the boards, but you gotta hit, get hit sometimes to make a play. Okay, there you go. For some reason, my uh, audio cut out in my headphones, and I like to hear the game, so... For some reason, it uh, decided to disconnect. But anyways, that was the first period. Let's see if we could keep it up here in this second period. We got the 2-1 lead. Nice hit on Matthews. There was not much of a screen, really, for Igor. Coach, do you want some momentum, I'm guessing? Yes, uh, you want some more pressure. Sounds good. I got a hit on Nylander. Oh, okay, Zibanejad's going to hit him instead. Nice defensive recovery, but then we lost it, and we poke-checked it back. Unless there's another one late. Oh, they give the Leafs a goal, and it's 2-2 going into the third. Man, this series has all of a sudden been really tight. Like, the first... Well, actually, the second game was pretty tight as well, but um, the first two games were really offensive, but these games have been really just, like, not that much offense. Or else we're going to bring on the brink of elimination... Let's cut in, drop that back at the point. Oh, a little backhand. I was hoping it would hit off something, but... It was a little careless with his stick, and... We're going to get a goal, okay? I thought they were going to get a power play goal, but it was a short-handed goal from Thomas Hurdle. The legend, the ninja Hurdle. Okay, here you go, Truba. Get it out. Get it out, get it out, get it out. Kick it around, man. Big tie-up down low, and... They're going to score. That's not really my fault, is it? I went in to help down low. One score we're not. I don't even know what that said. I should have covered the point. Come on, some engine work for us. It's given someone a goal. Hey, he gives it back to us again. Good job, Chris Kreider. 4-3 with 4.47 left. I like that this engine's given us goals because or else we'd probably be losing. And Panarin walks right in and dangles and scores. Oh my god. It's now 5-3. to three. Didn't even have to do anything on that play, but what a goal. Holy. That was nasty. Now, uh, what is it? Uh, is Troy Stetcher starting to look like Jake Gardner? He gets completely walked here by Panarin. And Panarin just... Wow. That was beautiful. Making sure. Here you go. I, I could have went through the pass, but I decided to go for a shot. Because we just need to lock down this game. It looks like we're going to tie up the series. Which means next episode. It's the best 2 out of 3. Looks like we got an empty net. Yep, we got an empty netter from Capo Caco. And we win 6 to 3. And this is a brand new series. We're tied at 2. Both teams losing both their home games. So that means uh, going into uh, yeah like next episode. It's going to be a best 2 out of 3 to uh, win uh, the first round of the playoffs. No matter how the other series are going so far. Okay, so that was a pretty good game. Despite us blowing the lead a couple times, we managed to have a good third period. And Igor seems to be improving a bit. There's us with the boys again. Giordano must have been playing that game or he was still in the cutscene. B plus offense, B minus defense, A on team play, B plus overall wise, good. Everything going up and neutral challenge. Okay. Let's advance to that next game already just in case. And there's nothing. Okay. So let's take a quick look at uh, the playoff tree in a second. Yeah, we'll take a look at the playoff tree in a second. But six points in four games for us. Looking pretty good. Only one goal but five assists. And let's take a look at the playoff tree so far. So Buffalo looks like they're going to eliminate Tampa Bay. Uh, Florida and Boston are tied. Islanders and Penguins. Islanders are up 3-1 to one on the Penguins, which is good because the Penguins were really good during the season. 3-1 uh, to one for the Winnipeg Jets. 3-1 to one for Minnesota, which is good because Nashville was really good. Nashville, or not Nashville, Vegas and Edmonton are tied. And Dallas and Anaheim are tied. So anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of our Snipe and Score Bio Pro. So in the next episode, we'll do three games as we are, two to three games as we look to close out this first round against Toronto. So let me know what you guys think down below, and I'll see you guys next time.